Welcome to Exploring with D-Rob. Let's go. Good morning, welcome back. As you may already guessed, up in the gorge this morning, I'll do a little arch hunting. I've been in this area before. I uh, found a few arches, still got uh, part of the holler to check out, so the uh, title of today's video is going to be Unfinished Business and Beach Bottom. Let's go. If you're curious as to where the name Beach Bottom came from, prior to my first visit in this area arch hunting, I would saw a Cumberland National Forest map from the 60s and on that map this area was labeled Beach Bottom. In the Clifty Wilderness today so I'd imagine most of today's our chance going to be in thick stuff coming through a pine thicket right now. As we get closer to the cliff line, we'll start running into some road over though. There's where our cliff line starts. And there's where our roto starts. Well, I've reached the section of the cliff line I figure will be kind of boring here. Besides having to fight through rhododendron. A lot of tall sheer cliff line through this little strip here. Got the sun coming up there. Uh, I figure this little stretch here's not going to produce anything. Once we get around the point out here, I think uh, the backside of this ridge should be pretty promising. I've already seen some good color and some nice conglomerate already, so. I've got faith that we'll find us an arch today. I've been wrong before, but hopefully we find one. Well, over there's the point I'm looking for, so hopefully as soon as we get around that, we'll kind of get away from the probably 100 foot sheer cliff lines and get into a little broken up cliff line. Hopefully some good sandstone features. Well, you got one thing I saw over so far. You got some nice sandstone features. Now, hopefully we fi start finding some holes. Just a recess here in the cliff side, but it's a start. for sandstone features and definitely getting plenty of that. Still no arch yet though. Well, finally found a hole in the rock there. Gotta get over a little closer, but I feel like that's not gonna be three feet. 
as I figured, 23 inches. Not the three foot we need for an arch. Nice little shelter though. We're on the right track now anyway. Unfortunately, here's another one that's too small. Another little window. It's got a little light coming in from the front there somewhere or another. You can see it hitting in the middle, it's kind of neat. This one here is only around a foot. Well, the lower cliff line didn't produce anything for us. Worked my way around to the end of the lower cliff line. Made our way up to the second level here. Hopefully we'll find something out through here. Came across another nice size rock shelter here. Got pretty excited looking at the front of this. Thought this might be a pretty nice arch as it had the right shape. The good news is it is an arch. The light opening just ain't what I was anticipating it to be. But we do have over three feet. So we do have an arch. Looking at it from the front. A lot of loose rock right there in the front blocking the light opening. So if all of those wasn't there, this may actually look better than what it does from behind. Just after we found an arch. Though. This span arch has great shape. If uh, all the clutter wasn't there across the top of it, it'd be a really nice looking arch. Too bad there's just a cap rock there instead of that being solid. That'd have been a decent little find. And the last rock shelter of the second story cliff line here. It's starting back out. And just happened to spot this little pillar over here. I'm gonna measure him, but I feel like this is just another window. I don't think we got three feet there. Measure him and see them. Like I thought here, just 26 and a half inches. And then this side here is a little bit smaller than that. Still a nice little feature, just not as big as what we wanted. decided not to backtrack the way I came. Saw a spot out here on the point of the ridge where I could get to the top. So I came up to the top of the ridge, came out of a nice little outcrop here. Got a decent little overlook of the valley below that we just came through. And hopefully found me a little trail over here. Somebody's been coming out here, got my fire ring, so Hopefully, make pretty good time back down to the trip. Well, the upside to this uh, bushwhack back off the ridge top, all the rhododendron is off both sides, and the spine of this ridge out through here is fairly open. Making it a whole lot easier than going back down to the cliff line and bushwhacking roto. Looks like I'm not the only one been out through here this morning. Looks like we've had a deer out through here. Well, after thrashing roto and Mount Laurel, Greenbrier, all the fun stuff all morning, this is a welcome sight to see, even if it is my least favorite trail in the gorge, the Osborne Bend. You never hear me saying anything good about the Osborne Bend. As I said, it is my least favorite trail in the gorge. Even though I do find myself on it several times each year. The uh, only good thing about the Osborne Bend is, is it's kind of a easy route into the Clifty Wilderness. It makes a big loop through the middle of it. So it allows a little easier access to some areas and after you've been bushwhacking all morning it makes a whole lot easier hike back to the truck
just off the Osborne bin. Here's an old storage compartment from years gone by. Here's another one. This one's a little bigger. Full size doorway you could walk into standing up. Almost back down to the truck now. It's gonna wrap up today's adventure. Unfortunately, we didn't find a significant arch, but at least this time we're not leaving empty-handed. Did come away with a new arch find, a little span arch. Found a couple windows as well. A lot of nice geology. Uh, even came out and found that overlook on the way back out. So, pretty good day in the woods. Hope you enjoyed today's adventure. If you would, be sure to give it that thumbs up. Helps out the channel. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. Hope to see you guys again soon. Thanks for watching.